Come on, ice tool. Give it a tug. Then I'll work my feet up. And as I do that, I'm hanging back. And let's pretend I'm hanging from a straight arm. It's hard because this isn't yeah. very long. Yeah. But I work my feet up and I'm hanging back and get my feet up high. Then I push my feet up and stand up and my hips go in. And so my, I'm standing on my toes. I'll talk about cramp wanting and front points more. You guys might have talked about that already. But then I swing this up high and in line. are going to make I bet is as you move your feet up you'll be tight into the wall like this bend in your arms that makes you tired you can't see your feet you're like this versus being like this and swing it a tool higher and I can work my feet up right swing it a tool higher right kind of like that good crampons I need a knot to kick in like this. I want the front points to be going straight into the ice. So, lay your feet out as well in space. Just like flat, you know, French technique walking, you're heel and toe on the same horizontal plane. And that is going to feel like your heels are dropped. What that does is engages these secondary points in the snow and ice and makes it more stable versus if you have your heel up. A lot of people tend to do that. I'm just kicking the toe of my boot, like the top yeah. of the ice doesn't do much. I see. So, fuel to a level for a particular feet. My feet, they're going to build like an A-frame over high center, center tools, which is better than a lot of folks also do the old school, the X climbing. Oh. And you're like this, or even worse, the Y. But even if you're like this, you take one tool out, you're unstable yeah. and you'll fall right open. Away. So you want to have your feet centered under a tool and the other one, well, if I want to move this way, sure. But then I move my feet over to be stable, right? Yeah. So that's the, oh wow. wow. That's the fire hose. That's the, <laughs> yeah, it's the concentrator. 